What's good, Bingster Mafia? It's your girl, Bingster, back at it again with another video. Now, today, guys, I have an updated Q&A. This is what everybody been asking for. This is, for, this is what everybody been waiting on. And I'm just using my iPad. I'm going to move it over here. I'm going to move it over here. And we're going to get into this video. Before we get into this video, I need you to smash that like button. Comment down below. And hit that post notification bell so you can know whenever the Bingster posts. Yiddy! Let's get it. Okay, so the first question is, what inspired me to do YouTube? What inspired me to do YouTube is because I was seeing everybody getting paid from the plan. First off, I'm a very social media savvy person. So, like, I, I'm, I base my life, like, I like basing my life around social media, meaning, um, I'm a goofy person. Like, I can post skits. I can post funny videos. I, I'm a musician. I can post rap videos and stuff like that. And the love that I get from social media, I felt as though, like, why not make a YouTube channel, post, give views, and, and get paid from it? And then I can also have this type of lifestyle, like live a lifestyle as YouTubers. And I really, I like YouTubers. Like, you know what I'm saying? They they can be outgoing. I know it's certain certain YouTubers who you just don't deal with, and there's certain people who you just don't, you know? But me being a YouTuber, I feel as though I can be myself. I can go far with being myself. I can go far with being goofy. I can go far with not having to change who I want to be and go work for somebody else just to fit in and or just to make money and things like that and i also can make money on social media so that's really why i chose youtube and i know that my fan base is gonna grow like when i first started youtube from now do what do ooh. okay the next question if you could change one thing about yourself what would it be um mentally or physically nothing honestly i wouldn't change anything about myself only for the simple fact that if I didn't, if I was to change anything about myself, I wouldn't be where I'm at right now. And I'm kind of, I'm kind of happy with myself. And and even though, or even if I do get down, or I do have to go through something like that, you know what I'm saying? I'm smart mentally, mentally to the point to where I know it's only gonna go up. I'm gonna only go up from uphill from here, if that makes any sense. So I don't, I wouldn't want to change anything. Um, I would also well. Yeah, I think I mean I think I I think I've done well as for me to be 21 years old to own a, a business at 18, my first business at 18 and to be doing, you know, certain things in life and being smart, I wouldn't change anything. Um the third question, what is my biggest fear? My biggest fear will have to be failure. Like I I just don't want to fail. Like that's one thing that I I really feel like I really fear because me failing, I would feel like, oh, dang, I just didn't do it good enough. Or I have other people who look up to me. I got fans who look up to me. I got family who look up to me. So me failing and a lot of people are pushing for me to, you know, succeed and things like that. It, it'll be, it's hard for me to do that, you know? So that's really one thing I'm afraid of other than God. Like there's nothing that I'm afraid of but God and failure. That's it. Um, anything else that happened to me and I wouldn't, you know, nothing that crossed my path would make me be scared. <sighs> Jesus, my phone might die, guys. So just bear with me. I'm finna try to put this on the charter and we finna see like that. Hold on one second. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. My, I'm back. My phone died. Um, it's the fourth question is, is there anything from my past that I'm ashamed of? Honestly, No. You know, certain people, people probably like, why? But it's certain people who make mistakes. And if I wouldn't have made certain mistakes, I wouldn't be who I am today, y'all. And when I tell y'all I love who I am and I love me, that's exactly why. But um, if y'all want to get technical, I probably would be ashamed of getting expelled from um, getting expelled from middle school. But if I wouldn't have got expelled from middle school, I probably wouldn't have been as focused and determined and wanting to push myself. Um, another thing is, I don't know. I, I, I'm really not ashamed of a lot of things. It's probably, um, just small things, but ashamed of my past. Laying real and Pete smoking the house and not telling on them. <laughs> All right, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Um, the fifth question. What is, what is the first thing that I notice? What is the first thing that you notice? In a person, no. What is the first thing that you notice about that per a person? Um, their teeth. Like, 
I think it's their teeth. No, no, no. I'll look, yeah, their teeth, and then I'll look at their shoes. And then after their teeth and their shoes, you know what I'm saying, whether it's presentable or not, I started to I started to look at their personality. Um, but the first thing that I noticed about a person is their teeth. Like, that's that's what I look at. That's really what I look at. Like, honestly, that's really something that I look at. Okay, the sixth question. What's, what three habits will improve my life? Um, habits. Habits that I have is walking up to strangers, speaking. That's a habit for me. That will improve my life because that's networking. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people... They don't know how to network. They don't know how to talk to people. So when you go talk to people and when you introduce yourself, you, you're you building your brand and you're bringing other people to your team and you're telling them like, oh, hey, I'm this person. Go subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm this person. Go do this for me. Or I'm this person. Would you like to co collab with me? And you never know. You may have um, different, I mean, the same things that you look at in people. My second habit probably would be... Huh, Habits, habit that will improve my life. Um, motivational speaking, like I'm always on people about what they need to, you know, what they need to do in order to be successful, what they need to do in order to move forward in life. Um, so that habit of me telling people, like being a mama binky and me helping other people out, giving them mental mental advice and advice about them be, becoming successful and moving forward. That will help my help me in my life because you never know. You I can get a deal. I can sign a deal. Becoming a motivational speaker, um, people I can mentor people you know and so I can make money like that. Or it can just benefit my life from me just pouring into other people's life and helping them become successful. And when you helping other people come become successful, you're building as a person. You know what I'm saying? So um, another habit that I have that I know that will help me improve in my life is like me being hard on myself like that me being hard on myself that's a habit for me so if i'm not hard on myself then i will know like oh uh, did my screen change colors then i will know like uh um i just i just you know me wait i just lost my chain of thought um me being hard on myself is basically gonna help me get to where i'm at a lot of people are like oh you need to stop stressing you need to stop doing this you need to stop doing this no i need to be hard on myself so i can get to where i want to be and so I can be comfortable at a certain age and not, you know, be trying to pick up pieces and crumbs and figure out what I want to do when I turn 30. No, I want my life to be over. I mean, not over, but I want to be settled financially free. I want to be comfortable when I turn 30 and want to be able to go on trips and build a family and things like that. Um, oh. Y'all, these other questions. No. Okay. The other, another question. I, I kind of lost the number. Am I gay? Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm being totally, totally honest because I get this all the time. And I just had a subscriber DM me on Instagram and ask me the same thing. Um, I don't get, first off, let me say this. I don't get offended when people ask me that. I don't get upset. Um, I used to, but, um, you don't get upset at certain things that aren't true. So, with that being said, no, I am not gay. No, I am not bisexual. No, I do not like girls. Um, But I will say this. There has been females who are attracted to me. And I don't be, I don't just not be their friend because they think I'm pretty. Because, look at me. <sighs> but, um, I am not. And... Y'all better stop asking me that question because I just said it multiple times. And even though I know the bigger that my channel gets, um, people will start to question because of how I carry myself or the things that I say or the things that I do. But come back to this same video and I'm going to tell you guys the same thing. No. And if anything changes, I'll let you guys know. <laughs> Anyways, um, another question is, how many siblings do I have? I have, I'm the only child, no, I'm just playing. I got a um, younger bro brother, Bubba. Um, Y'all see him in my videos, like one a cup, uh, one video he's in, well, a couple video he's in, he's in. 
Um, and then I got an older brother, Derek. Bubba is 20. I'm 21. Derek is 22. And then Ned is 27. Y'all gonna start seeing them in um, my video. Um, another video. I mean, another question. My bad, my bad, my bad. Why... Why isn't your dad in uh, why isn't your dad in most of your videos? <clears throat> my dad will be in some of my videos soon, very very soon. Um but unfortunately my dad is in prison right now so he can't really be here. Um and before y'all get to asking, yes, I do have a good a good or working towards a good relationship with my father, so yes. Um I think that is it. You guys need, you guys, listen, y'all know a lot of stuff about me. Um, so I think I'm going to end this Q&A and at the end. Oh, you got your hair done. Hey, That's honey. cute. Thanks. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to end this Q&A and... I will drop another Q&A when I hit 2,500 subscribers. So when I hit 2,500 subscribers, I will drop an updated Q&A and I will answer any questions. If you guys have them, any new questions, I will answer all of y'all questions. And if y'all still have the same questions, I want to answer them to the best of my ability. But before I get out of this video, I need y'all to smash that like button. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. That was Bubba, guys. Before I get out of this video, I need y'all to smash that like button, comment down below, and hit that post notification bell so you can know whenever the bigster post. Yiddick! And we gone.